What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified, WBC, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr., on the heels of his victory over former two-division world champion, former junior welterweight, unified world champion, and former WBC welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Danny Swift Garcia, last night. Errol Spence is not satisfied with the outcome. Now, I predicted Errol Spence would win the fight eight rounds to four. I was pretty spot on as two judges had it nine rounds to three and the other judge had it eight rounds to four. And the rounds that they gave to Danny Garcia were simply the rounds that uh, Danny Garcia was able to have success because Errol Spence decided to cruise and put it on cruise control in those rounds. With that said, uh, Errol Spence says that, you know, when he was trying to get physical with Danny Garcia, he wasn't as strong as he felt he should be. And for the future, with the massive fights on the verge of taking place between himself and undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion and currently WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered the number one pound for pound boxer in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. And a possible showdown with eight division legendary iconic superstar world champion who is currently the WBA welterweight world champion, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Those fights are on the verge for Errol Spence. Errol Spence says he's going to take um, um, a week or so off. Then he's going to uh, enter the gym again, start training. He says it's been a year and a half that he uh, has been training and doing rehab because as we all know, just 12 days after unifying the titles against former two-division world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter, September 28th. Just 12 days later, October 10th, he suffered a horrific car accident. Uh, and from there, he had to obviously do rehab. Uh, he had to get his body back in um, position to be able to train for the sport of boxing. And then he's been in training camp. So he went right from doing rehab, recovering from the accident, to right into a training camp. So he says it's been a long a uh, year and a half for Errol Spence Jr. And he said he's going to take a week or so off, you know, just enjoy his family, uh, you know, um, enjoy the fruits of his labor. But he says he's going to do it in a whole different manner than uh, what he was used to doing. He says that now he's going to go buy some more chickens and pigs and things of that nature because he bought land and a farm and horses, right? So he says he's going to invest in that. Uh, with that said, you know, uh, Errol Spence uh, stated that he wasn't happy with the outcome. He says that... Uh, he could easily outbox his opponent, he says, but he gets bored in doing so. Uh, he says when the fight with Sean Porter, he knew from the first day he stepped in the training camp uh, when that fight was made because of the style of Sean Porter. And Sean Porter was saying that he hadn't physically been tested. He said from that, the first day he stepped in training camp, he knew he was going to fight Sean Porter in the inside the entire fight. He wasn't looking to box. But this fight with Danny Garcia, he was mixing it up. At times, he was putting a lot of pressure on Danny Garcia, trying to walk Danny Garcia down. He was landing big punches, but he never really, really, truly hurt Danny Garcia. He never had him in adversity, uh, but he was definitely clearly winning and landing the bigger punches. Uh, he was doing a lot of, uh, you could see a lot of effect from uh, his uh, workload on Danny Garcia's face as his left eye was starting to close. Uh, it was swollen. You know, so he was definitely accurate. He was precise with his punches. Uh, he definitely was strong, but not as strong as he wanted to be. A lot of people call for Errol Spence to, you know, um, uh, rekindle his relationship with his strength and condition coach, Blu-ray, right? Blu-ray Fitness is a, a famous uh, strength and condition coach. Uh, and Blu-ray, you know, uh, had Errol Spence leading up to the last time I think he's, Errol Spence said he used Blu-ray and his strength and condition coach was the Lamont Peterson fight. Uh, and you can see a huge difference in, the Errol, in the, when Errol Spence went to the UK and defeated former IBF welterweight world champion superstar British boxer uh, Special K Kel Brook in hostile environment in the UK and United Kingdom when he ultimately broke Kel Brook's eye socket, uh, his orbital bone, and stopped Kel Brook in the 10th round of their fight. Uh, and the same version we saw against Lamont Peterson when he just was just too too big, too strong for Lamont Peterson. But he said he uh, eventually stopped using uh, Blu-ray Fitness. He stopped using his strength and condition coach. And he says that he hasn't been using uh, uh, um, nutritionists as well. He said he neglect those areas of his training due to the fact that he feel like he could, you know, uh, cover those areas in his own, with, his soul, with himself. 
So now he uh, said that, you know, um, after the, the victory, after the outing against Danny Garcia, he noticed a uh, difference in his physical strength. So he stated that now he is definitely going to uh, uh, reconnect with Blu-ray, his strength and condition coach, and he's going to hire uh, um, nutritionists, uh, help him prepare for these massive fights that he has on the verge with Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao and whomever, whomever else he faces uh, in, you know, uh, the upcoming, you know, year, uh, 2021 and 2022. And he's definitely going to need that, uh, cause he has plans to move eventually to, uh, 154 and 160 to challenge the likes of four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer Saul Canelo Alvarez. If he it plans to do so, he's going to have to be, uh, at the best physical strength and physical, uh, physical as he possibly can be in his entire career, because, uh, Canelo Alvarez is nobody's walk in the park. Canelo Alvarez is very, very strong. Now, Earl Spence has physical advantages over him as far as he has a longer arm reach. Uh, he has, you know, um, he's more athletic. He has the advantage in the athletic department. He has quicker feet, quicker hands. Uh, but in the strength department, uh, they, they have about the same IQ, ring IQ. Uh, they're both very, very smart in the ring. They're both very, very precise. They're both very, very accurate. But, um, you know, in the strength department, Canelo Alvarez has the advantage there. Uh, he's the bigger man. Obviously, he fights at 168. He even fought at 175. So he's definitely the bigger man, uh, the stronger man. And Errol Spence is going to need every bit of strength and condition training as possible to prepare him for these fights. Uh, even in the fight with, um, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is has a wiry frame. But Terrence Crawford is very, very strong. And Terrence Crawford has five knockouts in a row. Uh, now, they're not against the highest level of opposition, but he have five five knockouts in boxing is five knockouts, right? Now, it's, more, it's a, you know, you're more impressed when you do it on the highest level, obviously, but five knockouts in a row is five knockouts in a row. We're not going to take anything from that. He stopped uh, uh, Jeff Horn. He knocked out Jeff Horn. He knocked out uh, Jose Benavidez. Then he knocked out Amir Khan. Uh, then he, uh, well, he's, Amir Khan essentially quit in that fight. But then he stopped uh, Igas Kavalaskis, and then he stopped uh, more recently, November 14th, in his last fight, his last outing against the same version, uh, um, uh, against a different version of Kell Brook, but it was Kell Brook, right? And so uh, Terrence Crawford is very, very strong. Uh, you see uh, all his opponents are hesitant to mix it up with him in the inside. Igas Kavalaskis tried to do so. Uh, he even had success. He hurt Terrence Crawford. He, he unofficially dropped Terrence Crawford in the fight, but... Uh, you know, Terrence Crawford still was the stronger man. And Igis Kavaluskas looks very, very strong, right? He has a strong frame. Uh, but Terrence Crawford is a very, very strong individual. So if Errol Spence, like he stated, at times you could see uh, when he tried to outmuscle and outstrength Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia stood his ground. Uh, and seemingly at times you, it looked like Danny Garcia was the stronger man on the inside. And we know Danny Garcia fought at a, a smaller weight class. He started at junior welterweight. So with that said... You know, uh, you know, Danny Garcia um, is a strong guy. He sits on down on his, all his punches. Uh, and you could tell he, has, he definitely has a lot of physical strength. But uh, most people felt like Errol Spence was the stronger guy. And it just didn't show. It wasn't overwhelming, right? Um, he usually overwhelms people with his strength and his size. But that wasn't the case with Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia stood his ground. And he looked as strong, if not stronger, than Errol Spence. So uh, I understand where Errol Spence is coming from. If you're going to be able to uh, close the show in the, in the fashion and the manner that you're looking to, if you're Errol Spence, uh, he's looking to close the show. Uh, he said he wanted to physically and mentally uh, stop uh, um, Danny Garcia. That wasn't the case. Now, he was putting a lot of pressure on him. He was very accurate and precise with his punches. Uh, but he that wasn't the case, right? He wasn't able to do so. Uh, I didn't expect him to. But to go into a Terrence Crawford fight, that may play a part. You may need, you're going to need every tool in the toolbox uh, and every advantage possible to uh, be able to defeat Terrence Crawford and vice versa. Now, when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, that's not the case. The version of uh, Errol Spence that showed up last night against Danny Garcia will be, he's strong enough to um, to beat my, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is not the biggest guy in the world. Strength is not his game. It's not his uh, strength. Uh, pun intended, and uh, Manny Pacquiao, you know, is a is a quick guy. He's versatile, right? He's very athletic. He has very fast feet. 
he's unorthodox, right? So he gives you a lot of different angles, a lot of different looks. So when you look at look at it from that standpoint, you don't truly need that for Manny Pacquiao. But if you want to close the show, you want to end it in dramatic fashion and, you know, make a statement against Manny Pacquiao, then strength and condition and nutritionist is the way to go, right? You can't do it all yourself. He's so, uh, Errol Spence made it abundantly clear. I can't do this anymore by myself. You can't do everything on your own. So I'm going to, you know, uh, hire a nutritionist and I'm going to reconnect with my strength and condition coach for these big fights in the foreseeable future. That's great news. Uh, we already know he stated that after suffering that horrific car accident, that he rededicated himself to the sport of boxing. Uh, he understands what's at stake. He understands what he could have lost or what his family could have lost. Right. Um, so he says that, you know, uh, he's found a new appreciation for the sport of boxing and what the sport of boxing awards him in his personal life to be able to uh, feed his family and uh, take care of everybody. So, you know, um, with that said, he says that he's going to be disciplined. Uh, he's not going to celebrate as he used to. Uh, he says that he's not going to balloon up and wait uh, in between these fights. He's definitely going to get back in the gym within a week or two weeks. Uh, so he stated that uh, there's no way I'm going to let myself get out of shape like I used to. I'm not looking to have uh, these weight loss camps uh, where I couldn't work on my strategy and be strategic in my training camps. I was focusing on having to lose weight. So he says that uh, he's looking forward to hiring a nutritionist and a strength and reconnecting with strength and condition coach, Blu-ray Fitness. And uh, he's looking to make a statement against Terrence Crawford, uh, Manny Pacquiao, and whomever else he faces in the near future. So I can't wait to see how this all turns out. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.